sugar makes children hyperactive. It's a widespread belief that consuming sugar can make children hyperactive, leading to increased energy and decreased attention spans. However, scientific studies do not support this idea. Research, including controlled experiments, shows no direct link between sugar intake and hyperactivity in children. What often happens is that sugary foods are consumed in environments associated with excitement and less structure, such as birthday parties or holidays. This context, rather than the sugar itself, is likely what influences children's behavior. Additionally, parental expectations can play a significant role. If parents expect sugar to affect their children's behavior, they might interpret normal activity levels as hyperactivity. Understanding this can help parents and caregivers manage children's diets without unnecessary concern over sugar leading to hyperactive behavior. Humans have five senses. The traditional model of five senses, taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing, is taught early in education, but it simplifies the complexity of human sensory experiences. In reality, humans have more than just these five senses. For instance, proprioception is the sense of knowing where your body parts are in relation to each other, which is crucial for movement and balance. Thermoception allows us to sense temperature, and nociception enables us to feel pain. Additionally, we have a sense of balance, technically known as the vestibular system, located in our inner ears. These additional senses play critical roles in daily life, enhancing our interactions with the environment and contributing to our survival. Recognizing these lesser-known senses broadens our understanding of human capabilities and the intricacies of our sensory systems. Click subscribe to this channel to get more topics you love. Bulls hate the color red. It's a common scene in bullfighting, a matador waves a red cape, and the bull charges aggressively. This has led to the belief that bulls have a particular disdain for the color red. However, bulls, like many other cattle, are colorblind to red. Their aggressive reaction is not to the color itself but to the movement of the cape. Bulls are more likely to charge at the cape's motion, regardless of its color. Experiments have shown that bulls will react similarly to capes of different colors if they are moved in the same way. This misconception reflects a misunderstanding of animal behavior, attributing a human-like bias to an animal's visual perception that simply doesn't exist in reality. We only use 10% of our brains. The myth that humans only use 10% of their brains is a popular and persistent piece of misinformation. Modern neuroscience has debunked this claim through various studies and brain imaging techniques which show that nearly all parts of the brain have known functions and are active at various times. Different tasks and activities engage different areas of the brain, but no part of the brain is completely dormant. This misconception may have originated from a misunderstanding or misrepresentation of neurological research in the early 20th century. The truth is that the brain, even while at rest, is largely active and engaged in a multitude of processes, from regulating involuntary functions like breathing to complex thought processes. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. This saying is often used metaphorically to suggest rare events don't repeat. However, in reality, lightning can and often does strike the same place more than once, especially if it's a tall, isolated object. Structures like the Empire State Building may be struck many times during a single thunderstorm. The reason for this is that these structures reach closer to the charged clouds, providing an easier path for the lightning to follow. Therefore, lightning's propensity to strike such locations repeatedly is based on simple physical principles, debunking the myth of its supposed rarity. Goldfish have a three-second memory. Contrary to popular belief, goldfish do not have a mere three-second memory. This myth undermines the cognitive capabilities of these common pets. Research has demonstrated that goldfish can remember information for months. They are capable of learning and remembering complex tasks, such as navigating mazes or recognizing classical music. Studies have also shown that goldfish can be trained to respond to various stimuli in ways that require memory far beyond a few seconds. This ability to remember aids their survival in the wild, 
helping them avoid predators and locate food sources. Understanding the true memory capacity of goldfish can lead to better care practices in captivity, acknowledging their need for mental stimulation and a varied environment. Bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly. The misconception that bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly stems from early 20th century aerodynamic calculations that could not reconcile their wing size and body weight with conventional flight. However, Further research revealed that bumblebees use a unique mechanism to fly. Their wings move in a manner that creates vortices in the air, providing lift and allowing them to fly despite their small wings and relatively large bodies. This discovery highlights not only the complexity of nature but also the limits of applying conventional wisdom to understand biological phenomena. It's a perfect example of how scientific understanding can evolve, turning what seems impossible into a well-explained reality. Water drains backwards in the southern hemisphere due to the Coriolis effect. The belief that water in sinks and toilets swirls and drains in opposite directions in the northern and southern hemispheres due to the Coriolis effect is widespread but incorrect. The Coriolis effect does influence large-scale weather patterns and ocean currents, but it is too weak to affect small bodies of water like those found in household plumbing. The direction water spirals down drains is determined by the structure and alignment of the plumbing and the way water is introduced to the basin. Controlled experiments have shown that water can be made to drain in either direction in either hemisphere, depending entirely on local conditions rather than global forces. Napoleon was extremely short. Napoleon Bonaparte's supposed short stature is one of the most enduring myths about his persona, often used to explain various aspects of his temperament and decisions. In reality, Napoleon was about 5 feet 7 inches tall, which was average for a Frenchman of his time. The myth likely originated from the British propaganda of the era, which portrayed him as diminutive to diminish his stature and significance. Additionally, Napoleon surrounded himself with tall imperial guards, which may have made him appear shorter in comparison. This misconception about his height does a disservice to understanding his tactical and administrative genius, which defined his leadership and historical impact. Vikings wore horned helmets. The iconic image of Vikings wearing horned helmets is a result of 19th century romanticized artistic representations and has no basis in historical artifacts. Actual archaeological finds from the Viking Age do not show evidence of such helmets, which would have been impractical for combat. The horned helmet myth was popularized by stage productions of Wagner's operas, which used these dramatic helmets to create a fierce image. Understanding this error helps correct our image of the Vikings, who were not only warriors but also traders, explorers, and settlers with a rich culture that influenced many parts of Europe. Chameleons change color to blend into their environment. While it's true that chameleons can change their color, the common belief that they do this primarily to camouflage themselves against a variety of backgrounds is a simplification. Chameleons change color for various reasons, including temperature regulation and social signaling. For instance, chameleons often display brighter colors when they are agitated, courting, or trying to ward off rivals. The changes can also indicate stress or physiological states. The ability to blend into their environment does play a role, but it is just one of many factors influencing this complex behavior. Understanding the multifunctional uses of color change in chameleons can lead to a deeper appreciation of how these creatures interact with their world. Cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. The sound of cracking knuckles comes from the popping of gas bubbles in the synovial fluid surrounding the joints. A common misconception is that this habit leads to arthritis. However, extensive research has found no direct correlation between knuckle cracking and the development of joint problems like arthritis. While habitual knuckle cracking isn't harmful to the joints, it can sometimes lead to reduced grip strength or swelling if done excessively. Knowing this can alleviate unnecessary concerns about this common habit, though it's still advisable to be mindful of any discomfort or pain that occurs. Shaving hair makes it grow back thicker. The belief that shaving causes hair to grow back thicker, darker, or faster is a myth. When hair is shaved, it is cut off at the thick base, 
making it appear coarser as it grows out. However, shaving does not change the thickness or rate of hair growth. Hair growth is determined by genetics and hormonal levels and is not influenced by shaving. This myth can lead to misconceptions about personal grooming and body hair management, so understanding the true nature of hair growth can help people make more informed decisions about their personal care routines. Ostriches stick their heads in the sand when threatened. This popular image of ostriches burying their heads in the sand to avoid danger is purely a myth. Ostriches do not engage in this behavior as a defensive mechanism. Instead, when threatened, they often lie low and press their long necks to the ground in an attempt to become less visible, which might have contributed to this misconception. When faced with a threat they can't escape from by hiding or running, ostriches are notably fast runners, they can defend themselves with powerful kicks. Understanding the actual behaviors of ostriches can lead to greater appreciation and accuracy in how we perceive these fascinating birds. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. This statement is one of the most famous urban legends about human-made structures. The Great Wall of China, contrary to popular belief, is not visible from space with the naked eye. It is less visible than many other objects because it is relatively narrow and follows the natural contours and color of the landscape. Astronauts have confirmed that they cannot see the structure from low Earth orbit without aid. This myth likely stems from a desire to emphasize the grand scale and historical significance of the wall, but recognizing the truth does not diminish its status as one of the most impressive architectural feats in human history. Eating carrots improves your night vision. The idea that eating large amounts of carrots improves night vision is a myth that originated from World War II propaganda. The British Royal Air Force propagated this story to conceal their use of radar technologies for night missions, attributing their pilots' success to consuming carrots. Carrots contain beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A, which is essential for maintaining healthy eyesight. However, while vitamin A deficiency can lead to night blindness, consuming extra carrots does not enhance night vision beyond normal levels. This misconception highlights how dietary benefits can be exaggerated or misconstrued for various purposes, though maintaining a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, including carrots, remains essential for overall health. You can catch a cold from being cold. The belief that exposure to cold weather can cause a cold is a common misconception. Colds are caused by viruses, not by cold weather itself. However, the virus spreads more easily in colder months because people are more likely to be indoors and in close contact with others, which facilitates transmission. Additionally, the rhinovirus, responsible for many colds, thrives in lower humidity and colder temperatures, which can increase its spread during the winter. Understanding the actual causes of colds can help in better managing health and preventive practices, emphasizing the importance of hygiene and avoiding close contact with sick individuals rather than merely avoiding cold environments. Touching toads gives you warts. The idea that touching toads can cause warts stems from the toad's bumpy, wart-like skin. However, warts are caused by the human papillomavirus, HPV, not by toads. The bumps on a toad's skin are glands that produce a variety of substances, likely meant to help the toad defend itself against predators. This myth may discourage people from handling toads, but it's important to handle all wildlife responsibly, based on understanding and respect for the animals, rather than fear based on misinformation. Educating about the nature of viruses and warts can help dispel fears and misunderstandings about wildlife. You lose most of your body heat through your head. The belief that the majority of body heat is lost through the head alone is an exaggeration. This myth likely originated from a flawed study where participants were exposed to cold conditions without headgear, and it was noted that the head was where most heat was lost. However, heat loss is proportional to the amount of skin exposed, thus, if any other part of your body were left uncovered, it would lose heat just as rapidly. Understanding correct information about body heat distribution can aid in effective management of body temperature in cold conditions, emphasizing the importance of overall coverage rather than focusing solely on the head. 
Swallowed gum stays in your stomach for seven years. The myth that swallowed gum stays in your stomach for seven years is not supported by scientific evidence. Gum is mostly indigestible, but it does not stay in the stomach. Instead, it passes relatively intact through the digestive system and is excreted in the stool. While it's not advisable to habitually swallow gum due to potential gastrointestinal blockages if large quantities are consumed, the occasional swallowed piece of gum is not a cause for concern. This debunking helps clarify misunderstandings about how the body processes non-food items and reassures that accidental ingestion of gum is not harmful in the long term. Humans use only 10% of their brains. The myth that humans only use 10% of their brains is a pervasive and enduring misconception. In reality, brain imaging studies show that nearly all parts of the brain have a function and are active at various times throughout the day. Even tasks that are considered simple, like speaking or walking, engage multiple brain regions. The myth likely stems from misinterpretations of neurological research and has been popularized by the media and some self-help movements. Recognizing that we use virtually all of our brain emphasizes the organ's complexity and importance, and underscores the potential for human cognition and learning. Sugar makes children hyperactive. The belief that consuming sugar causes hyperactivity in children is a common assumption among parents and educators. However, scientific studies have not supported this claim. Research, including double-blind sugar challenges, shows no difference in behavior between children who have consumed sugar and those who have not. The misconception may arise from observational biases where high-energy environments, such as birthday parties where sugary foods are consumed, may lead to excited behavior. Understanding that sugar does not directly cause hyperactivity can guide better dietary choices based on nutritional value rather than behavior modification. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. The saying that, lightning never strikes the same place twice, is a myth. In fact, lightning frequently strikes the same locations, particularly high, pointed, and isolated areas. For example, the Empire State Building is struck by lightning about 25 times a year. This misconception may prevent people from taking necessary precautions during thunderstorms, especially if they believe an area has already been cleared of risk by a previous strike. Recognizing the true nature of lightning can encourage more consistent and effective safety measures during stormy conditions. We swallow eight spiders a year in our sleep. This urban legend claims that people swallow an average of eight spiders annually while sleeping. There is no scientific basis to this claim, it is more of a modern myth likely spread as a sensational story. Spiders generally avoid humans and are unlikely to crawl into mouths, people are also likely to wake up if something touches their face while they are sleeping. Debunking this myth can alleviate unnecessary fears and highlight the importance of critical evaluation of information before accepting it as fact.